What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, Cho Gaff, this is the League of Legends champion from the void. I am going to be covering today. I covered, what did I cover? Malzaha recently, and the boy had hardly any law. The guy had a story, um, and I think it's just, sorry, the guy didn't have a story correction. He just had a bio, and I think, Jesus, it's even worse. <laughs> Chogaf is the same. So Chogaf has a bio. I'm a, I know he's got some skins. So I will go through his skins. I will go through his login uh, screens. I know he's got a couple of login screens and I might dabble in his spotlight as well. But apart from that, he hasn't got much more. He hasn't got a story. He hasn't got any special interactions or at least official special interactions. So uh, yeah, this might be a shorter one today. But yeah, I'm going to go through Chogaf today. Um, yeah, let's go. So, um, read the bio. <clears throat> Let's kick things off with the base skin. The base skin's amazing. How can you have a base skin that looks as devilish as that, but no story? I don't know. Maybe because it's not human, maybe the backstory wouldn't be as, maybe it's not as padded out because he doesn't have any. I don't know. I'm just making excuses now. I'm making excuses now. But anyway, this is his bio, the terror of the void. Yeah, loving the base skin. So, there is a place between dimensions, between worlds. To some, it is known as the outside. To others, it is it is the unknown. To those that truly know, however, it's called the void. Okay. Despite its name, the void is not an empty space, but rather the home of unspeakable things. Horror is not meant for minds of men. Chogath is a creature born of the void, a thing whose true nature is so awful, most will not speak its name. Its fellows have been poking at the walls that divide dimensions for a crack, a way into room terror, where they can visit their own personal paradise, interesting way to call it, of horror upon the world. So, they are called the Voidborn. <clears throat> Creatures so ancient and terrible that they have been rumoured, removed sorry, from history altogether. It is rumoured that the Voidborn command vast armies of unspeakable creatures on other worlds, they, that they were once driven from Rune Terror by powerful magic lost to antiquity. If such tales are true, then the rumours that follow must be equally true, that one day the Voidborn will return. Even now, some dark stir, something dark stirs in Akathia or Akathia. Chogath, an ancient, so an alien creature of malice, that'd be cool, if he was an ancient alien creature of malice and violence, causes all but the most stalwart to cringe in fear. Chogath even appears to feed on its pred predinations, growing and swelling as it gorges itself. Worse yet, the creature is intelligent, perhaps greatly so, hinting at the sentient horror of the void. So that there, in that paragraph there, is enough for me to build out a story. Give the guy a story. I mean, some champs have two, three stories. And some of these stories are long. Give the guy a little bit of love, just like Miles had before. Give the void some love, because for me, based off the little information I know, he's one of my favourite characters. One of my favourite characters, so... Bit of a shame, but okay, interesting still to go through the bio for Chogath. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to his skins. We'll review obviously his base skin and also any of the skins he's got available. And I will give you my top three. Let's go. Okay, so these are his skins. This is his original. From the moment Chogath first emerged in the harsh light of Rune Terra's sun, the beast was driven by the most pure and insatiable hunger, a perfect expression of the void's desire to consume all life. Chogath's complex biology quickly converts matter into new bodily growth, increasing its muscle mass and density or hardening its outer carapace like organic diamond. When growing large as it does not suit the void spawn's needs, it vom- way Really? It vomits out the excess material material as razor sharp spines tying in nicely with his abilities never knew that leaving prey skewered and ready to feast upon later do not be interesting if they actually tie that in more closely with his abilities so when he uses his ultimate is it his r i think it's his r. i'm looking at the keyboard <laughs> i look at the keyboard that's not bad it's, i think it's his r when he consumes someone that affects his w more it's, it's his w, i'm sure it's his w that's the spikes or is it not Either way, maybe the more he consumes, the more deadly his spike projectile becomes. It stacks, basically. That would nice a time with this as well, wouldn't it? Because the bigger he gets, the more he's going to decide to fire back out. Anyways, that was a little bit, um, that was a little bit random. Uh, yeah, 
Original skin, love it, love it. Um, and what's interesting as well is, you know, why? Why is he unique? Why does he look different to other creatures that come from the void? Why is he intelligent? All these things could be nicely built into his lore, his bio, his story, which we haven't got. <laughs> okay, this would be interesting stories, well, won't it? Gentleman Chogath. You know what I like as well? <clears throat> I love how this is his first one. So they've gone, this is his original skin, like as menacing and as epic as it gets. It's, it's, it's Aatrox levels of intimidation. Um, and then you go gentleman with the gin, I imagine. Prior to indulging in their delectable tastes of his victims, Chogath prefers to invite them to his humble, as you do, 40 acre mansion. There he offers scones and jam or kisses British with a spot of tea. So his guests may savour their last meal before becoming one themselves. Okay, kind of like Hannibal in it. He feeds them, makes them nice and sweet uh, to him. And then he eats them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I needed to clarify that. Anyway, um, uh, next one is Jurassic Chogath. No bio on this one, but this is obviously a shout out to the original Jurassic Park scene. You know the scene right at the end with the two Velociraptors. Yeah, great. Great film. Uh, next one is Battlecast Prime Chogaf. Okay. I believe this is one of the login themes that I'm going to be going through as well. The gold standard of battle cast shock troopers. Prime Chogaf implements self replicating nanites that reinforce its frame as it constitutes living tissue. It has become a common and terrifying sight in occupied cities where it feeds on civilians who won't submit to conversation. Won't submit to conversion. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? which wouldn't submit to conversation. So Chogoff comes up to you, look at how he looks. If you don't speak to me, I'm going to kill you. Hmm, that would be, yeah. That's a little bit different than what obviously it's saying there. Yeah. Anyways, prehistoric. Nice. And we've got um, Renekton at the front and um, Phoenix, whatever the Phoenix is called. I forgot her name. A titanic beast feed for its massive size and endless appetite. Yep. No sane hun hunter would ever think of taking on Chogaf, apart from Renekton. Seeing as there is no sane hunters, Chogaf enjoys a steady supply of lightly armoured food. That is one way of putting it. Skin's nice as well. There's another prehistoric skin. Is it Mundo? Does Mundo have a prehistoric skin that I'm feeling as well? I'm sure it's Mundo. Hmm. Anyways, moving on. This is the final one. That's it. Is this no, it's not. We've got, we've got a good few more. Okay, so this one is San, San Hai Scrolls Chogath. This is cool. A mythical titanic beast painting, painted with a mysterious San Hai Scrolls whose gluttony resulted in eternal karmatic punishment. Chogath has seized upon the Scrolls' connection to the multiverse and plans to devour both his own world and then all others. Okay. Okay, teen up for some kind of story there, some kind of movie there. Okay. And as for the visuals, yeah, I really do like that as well. I like that one. Okay, so we've got Legacy Vault. We have three. We have <laughs> Nightmare Chogaf. Well, I mean, the original skin's kind of a nightmare. And if you compare it to this one, unknown voice actor, okay. Um, yeah, it just seems like a... It, it, yeah. It's not as polished as it is. It's kind of like more of a lazier version of the original skin, if you ask me, but... Okay, Nightmare Chogaf. Next one. Uh, Loch Ness, okay. Citing nothing more than... What's he got? Hold on, what have we got here? Citing more than a... Hold on, slow down. That's better, isn't it? Citing more, nothing more than a blurry photograph, the locals in, I, in one isolated town insist on the existence of a large predator marine animal that grows in size every time it feeds. The reports are otherwise unsubstantiated, but the spike in tourism has been great for the local economy, just like the Loch Ness Monster. Not the disappearances, though. Ooh, they are bad, or those are bad. So we've got some something going on there. Um, and then the final one is Dark Star Chogaf. So let's just scroll that down, put that in the here in the corner. So this one, I love the Dark Star theme just in general as well. Spawned from the remnants of a star system crippled by famine, Chogaf is driven to feed on any celestial body that crosses his path. Those feasts swirl into the twin black holes at his heart. Okay, an endless and aidless as his hunger. Interesting. So, um, out of all them skins, my favourite three. My favourite three would have to be 
Let me think. Okay. Third place has to be Gentleman. That's got to make the cut. Gentleman Chirograph has got to make the cut just because of what it is. So that's number three. Number two, I'm going to say, is going to be um, this one here, Prehistoric. I really do like this one. If anything, I like just the collection of champions on there and the whole the whole shot itself, I'm really feeling. That'll be number two. And number one would be this one, if I can pronounce it correctly. This one, Shanghai. Shanghai? Shanghai? Scrolls Chirograph. I really like this one as well. Anything oriental like that, that kind of theme. I love the Blood Moon theme as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to his logging theme. He's got two, so I'll do them both one after the other. Let's go. So the first one is Battlecast or Battlecast Prime. Let's get it. Okay, okay. So, that was short, but that was all right. That was okay. You know, that was, um, it ties in nicely with the animation and the whole theme of Chorgaf in terms of the skin, straight into it, no messing around. I call it standard. I call it a standard logging theme, but for considering that the short period of time or how short the actual logging theme was, it was decent. I give it a six out of 10, it was decent. So let's see if the next one can beat that. Let's go. So this one is the Dark Star. And it's got, okay, two minutes, 46 seconds. For stars, it's a bit of skin. Let's be real. Oh. Reload. Not expecting that. All that. Right, 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 right. Let me pause here. Let me just say this here. This is um, this is the weirdest combination of music. If it played the samples on the own, there's like two or three things going off at the same time here. Two, if you played them all in isolation, and you said, "Would that go with the next one?" and play the next one, you said no. But it kind of works. It's weird though, but it kind of works. Here we go.
this is this song this song let me get to the end I'll get to the end Okay, right, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm not saying it's this bad. I actually, in a way, I give this a seven out of 10. I prefer this one to the previous one. It had more time to add up as well, don't get me wrong. Um, and it should have been better because it's a better skin, it's a newer skin, all the rest of that stuff. One of the weirdest songs I've heard. The song by no means matches the visuals. What I'm seeing here doesn't even go with the song. And then, like I was saying before, the samples that they put together don't mesh but they kind of work and then it builds up to go somewhere and think oh okay, it's building up it's building up it's building up and then we're going to drop or we're going to come back down and it goes somewhere else and then I'm thinking okay it's going this way and it goes somewhere else if that makes sense maybe this is me running and making no sense here but for me usually I can follow the path of the song I can kind of know where it goes on its highs and lows this one was all over the place but the it was still okay somehow it was still okay anyways uh, that wow that's probably the most random login theme in comparison to Dark Star Chogath, I'll ever listen to. Maybe I won't. Anyways, so that's the two that's the two locking themes or screens, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't have a story, and uh, I'm not really going to go through his special interactions because he doesn't have any ones that I can see that are official. And like Mal Zahar, his spotlight is way too old for me to be going through. So um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off with Magic Cap Use Flies spotlight i believe his spotlight is about seven years old so no doubt there's been updates and revisions to his kit and his abilities from that point onwards but it's better than nothing so i'm going to end on magic captain's flies spotlight let's go the league of legends actual champion spotlight okay. featuring rise the rogue mage can you handle this hmm? no choke what the fuck i thought this guy was was uh, finally long and gone, but no, right? Even nerfed this fucker, and he's still strong. You have been slain. He's got constant DPS on such low fucking cooldowns. You have been slain. Okay. And you know what? It's still the same concept where you okay. just press a bunch of buttons and it doesn't really matter where you... You have been slain. <sighs> Got me there. Welcome to League of Legends okay. Actual Champion Spotlight, yep. featuring Cho'Gath, mm -hmm. the Terror of the Void. Yep. Oh! What? Wait, 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 wait. Where, where's the blood coming from? Was that a feature back in the day? No way. No way did they have blood pouring out of looks like that from Cho'Gath. Uh -uh. You want to feel like a true American and just eat whatever the fuck you see in front of you? Well then congratulations, here's Cho'Gath. Eat shit, eat dick, eat lesbian. Not only do you have a knockup that also gives a ridiculous slow. It does, the slowest touch, yeah. A passive yeah. that lets you regen more health than a Garen with Warmog sitting at Fountain, but also an AoE silence. Which is okay seeing as sometimes the animation goes through, but for some reason, nothing happens. Oh, I'm sorry, right? I didn't know I was playing on the goddamn East Coast, my bad. You want to make your friends think you're good at the game with your awesome KDA, then Cho'Gath is the perfect champion for you. Wow. Since you can just sit in your lane and win any 1v1 off of your stupid passive, silence, and high as fuck AP ratios. Guido, I'm I'm gonna smash your girlfriend. Well, I mean, like, not like what? that. I'm, not like that, I meant- no, 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 no. This guy gets so big that I feel like Godzilla on the map and the minions are a bunch of Asian people running around yelling, Gaika, Gaika. Cho'Gath's passive is carnival. Like that. You recover health according to this math, but who gives a shit about math? We're here to play video games, <clears> not learn <throat> equations. Here's a simpler version. Off of this passive alone, I don't see why Cho'Gath isn't a recommended character for beginners along with Katarina and Leona. Pick up a catalyst and even though you have no damage items, it doesn't matter, you still kill people. Yep. This is League yep. of Legends, you don't use logic here. Why else would Riot make a champion that could buy boots and still have the ability to 100 to owe someone? Help me take this, we'll split the XP, I'll tank it, and I'll TP up to back to top. Oh, the Raptors? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'll help you. Here, I'll start Q just for you, alright? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, 
shit out of your head. I fucking you got a Oh my god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> I fucking die! <laughs> You've got your Q called rupture that knocks people. How? how? Pull up. What's that, Sajuane? And slows them by 60% so you can get some really dirty auto attacks in while they try to run away. This skill scales with 100% of your AP, but you wanna max it second because you wanna max your broken W frozen sing along soundtrack that silences your opponents. The more points you put into it, the longer the duration of your silence becomes, which is super nice if this thing wasn't buggy as shit. Its <laughs> hitbox is supposed to be a cone, but in reality, it's more like a silhouette of my father since he's never there when I need him the most. So Whoa. you land your W whenever it works for you, and while there's silence, they have no choice but to get hit by your rupture, which slows them, and then you just auto attack them a couple of times since your spiky shit makes your auto attacks deal a percent of your AP on each auto attack. This spiky stuff is a toggled ability, so you can turn it off if you don't want the AoE damage to hit other minions, but fuck that. Spiky Keep shit. this shit on all the time because it looks cool. And that that that's the only reason why you should keep it on, because it looks cool. Your ult is feast. It's a single okay. target ability yep. that deals yep. true damage to a champion, scaling with Whoa. your AP, and just like Nunu, also uh -oh. deals true damage to monsters. Whenever you kill something with your ult, you gain a stack of feasts that increases your health with a cap set to 6. Killing minions or neutral monsters refund half of your mana and also halves the cooldown. With each stack, your attack range also increases. And if that's not easy enough for you, here's Arcadian from Skurb with a small tip for you guys. <clears throat> okay. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that Magic Hop cannot actually use flop? Did you know that you're sick of this always happening to you? Well, watch closely. See this little effect right here? This means that the enemy is low enough to die from your feast. Happy feasting. Oh, so back in the day, they didn't have a bar, like a health bar showing that when you would get a guaranteed kill from, from the R. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so... Jump but there was just... Fountains of blood from everybody that you get that gets killed. So guys can have a range indicator showing cool. when to kill someone, but Graves can't have his goddamn cigar. Well, what's with the turrets? You know, I tried. I'm sorry. What? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to finish that. On Dominion, okay. what you want to do is uninstall League of Legends because you're not playing it right. On League of Legends main map, League of Legends, you want to hit either that mid lane or top lane with this guy since it doesn't really matter what he builds because he's going <laughs> to do the same thing. Kill. Yeah. Yep. Your enemy. Yeah. Anything complex you need to know? Anything mechanically helpful? No. Nothing. Literally nothing. Maybe silence before knocking people up yeah. or using yeah. ignite after you ult or before you ult. Who gives a fuck? To be honest, there is nothing you need to know mechanically about this guy. He has really low risk for really high reward. And even though he doesn't have mobility, he doesn't need it because he yeah. still gets tanky as fuck without even yeah. doing anything. Look at that. Look at and that. now here's some footage of how dumb Togath is with Pierre S. Cargo. Oi. <laughs> Chogath is stupid. Squeeze. To be fair, though, there's nothing worse than a fed Chogath. You know, running down mid, late in the game, opposition team, fed Chogath. Yeah, yeah. You just, yeah. yeah. It's not the one. Anyways. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and reactions and review of Chogaf. This was nice to end on since his spotlight is so old. So yeah, um, get a bit of appreciation, at least me personally, of his abilities, which I kind of knew the bulk of anyway as well. But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I will be going through more Void Champions going forward and fingers crossed the next Void Champion I cover has a little bit more love. They get a little bit more love because Chogaf, like Mal Sahar before, had no story. When, in my opinion, the ripe for stories. So, yeah, hopefully the next champion has a little bit more about them in terms of lore. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.